Rolling. Okay. So, in case you have a question about how to use these sort of kayak roof racks, they're called J-racks. You need to, if you can come up here, Kathy and show, on your crossbars, face, facing, they face outside like a J, letter J. You remove the metal plate, remove these um, thumb, they're a thumb nut, you unscrew those, put the metal plate over, tighten them as hard as you can. You want it as level as you can. So you tighten this real hard and it's not going to wobble back and forth and it's, you should, if you pull on it, it should shake your car a little bit. The hard part will then be for you to get the kayaks up on the roof. So I have both racks on, you get the kayaks in like they're sitting at an angle like that. You always want the fattest part of the kayak in the middle, that way with the straps there, the fat part in the middle can't go past either strap, so it's stuck in the middle. Um, in case you have trouble reaching, what I do, these two of these black straps for each kayak, I reach around here so it's through the loop, make sure it's long enough. I just fish it around the end of the kayak until I pull it over this way and make sure it goes all the way to the top. So you might have to help it, and then when I pull it tight, it's all the way at the top. So Kathy, if you come over here. So now I have the two ends of the kayak. No, I'll take two ends of the rope. Two ends of the strap. Yeah. I'll take the end with the buckle, put it up a little bit so it's in front of me and I can see it. I want to run the strap through the loop. That has no buckle. Yeah, just the end. Okay. So it'll, it's, it's not going to shift now because this is holding it in the spot. I'm going to go around the roof rack also. That holds it to this side of the car. Uh-huh. This is tight. I go back up through here. So now, as you see, kind of like this thing is anchored to this side here. So I've got this strap and then kind of squeeze this. It's it just squeezes it. So it goes in from the back. I'll pull it all the way through. So it's tight with like hand tight. And then it's, it's in position where it's going to be. I'll just tug it as hard as I can. And really it's in there. You can see it's pulling on it. So I do that on the front. You have a lot of extra straps sometimes. It's going to flap, so what I do is just run it through and I'll tie them to each other or tie it around something so you don't want it going behind the car. So do this again in this spot and then this one's good. Um, there's two paddles. One paddle comes apart, the other paddle doesn't. If you can stick it in your car and have it come out the back window, that's fine. Or you could tie it around this, and tie it around this and tie it on here. So the paddles on these, I did that while we were up here. So if you had to, you could put it here, use this excess to wrap around and tie it in a knot around this and that will hold the paddle here too. This, this white one doesn't come apart. That's it, so when you're done and you wanna go paddle in the river, you get there, you untie your knot, loosen your cord, loosen this cord you have to pinch that yeah, or something? Yeah, you squeeze this little thing here and it relieves the pressure so you pull that through. And then I pull out the excess and then I just got this one. I pull all this way out. Bingo. All right. Do that in both spots. And then you got to get it off the roof. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's a hard part too. Get the flip. So two people's helpful. Okay, is that good? That's good.